I am H.G. Goodmanson, junior at Columbia University, cultural anthropology with a visual emphasis, resident of Brooklyn and having the time of my life. kid in the glasses is Martin. He's some kind of a Kennedy, but he hasn't told me what kind. Haven't told him exactly where I'm from either. He wouldn't believe me, who would? But my dad was having business problems, so I put my life on hold for two weeks and went home. To another world. My great-great-grandfather homesteaded this place. Dad never lets me forget it. Hamburger help is fine. No, don't wait up for me, but can you get some kind of treat for Maddie? Thanks, Brent. But Kevin, huh? Did you mow? Kev Kevin, Ke Kevin, mow the frickin' yard before I... Ryan McGonagall is kind of a white trash kid from town. Put Brenda back on. Okay, forget it. I'm hanging out. My dad hired him out of pity, though. McGonagall is minus two parents and plus a bunch of little siblings. Don and I used to joke that the littlest one was his own kid. He must have hooked up with a hundred girls since junior high. Where's your dad? In his boots. Sorry to hear about your mom. You ever talk to Ambroson? I don't really keep in touch with people from school, except Dawn. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, I heard you asked her out. You don't mind, do you? No. What about your friends? Oh, they all think I'm a loser for doing this. I mean how I'm taking care of my family. Oh, great friends. Yeah, that's for sure. Don Olson, high school girlfriend. Don is both intelligent and evangelical. I never could figure that one out, but she has always managed to blind herself to things. Last night she invited me out to Murley's Tavern. I had a beer, she had a Coke, I had another beer. The dating game came up, and I came out. Dawn did not take it well. In fact, she screamed, You can't be gay. Unfortunately, she attracted an audience. When Martin came out, he was 11. His mother made him a party. I called him to tell him what's going on here. He cannot understand this strange tribe I come from. He cannot relate to a family who has sacrificed so much for a piece of land during five generations. We're like a people lost in time. He thinks I should document us for my final thesis at school.
His worst fears confirmed, and with Don's public outburst making me the talk of the town, Dad went to bed with a bottle of Canadian Club. That was three days ago. Last time it lasted a year, right after Mom left, and we almost went broke. This is the lucky strike. The middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere. Hey. Far away places I've been dreaming about Calling, calling me I've been reading about Calling <clears throat> Mortgage, operational expenses, new seat I, it's, uh, I've done the numbers 50 different ways There's gotta be a way out of this Well, maybe that's the problem What? Maybe it's about finding a way into it. This is not supposed to be my life. Hey, what's it like? Huh? Taking care of your family. Who was that Greek guy who was always pushing that rock up the hill? Sisyphus? No, I don't think that's right, but... Always feels like the rock I'm pushing is going to win. What are you going to do if he doesn't get out of bed? <clears throat> well, if you need anything, then I'm here. Ryan's brother Kevin was suspended from school. He drove the family car across the football field during a game. And my dad's still in bed, so I just missed my bus to the airport and a long day's journey back to New York. In my Margaret Mead class, we studied a tribe where every spring, the adolescent boys who come of age are expected, as part of ritual, to make a sacrifice for the survival of the tribe. As young men with new responsibilities, some of them give up their boyhood ties to their mother. But a boy who does not have a mother must think of something else. Last night, I accepted the fact that I was a member of that tribe. So here I am, at the Lucky Strike. Hey. What are you doing here? I don't know. I, I guess my biggest fear... Losing momentum. Well, New York's not going anywhere. Yeah. Did you uh, have to meet with social services today? What'd they say? A lot of scary talk. A lot of questions. My brother ain't helping any. We'll see. Well, if you need anything... It's not so bad here. I mean, you'll see. When you got friends. I am H.G. Goodmanson, member of one tribe, belonging to another. <laughs>